What is going on everybody? Lou and Mary here for the Long Island Dash Experience. Today is Friday, January 6th, and we're gonna be going out tonight for four hours. Tonight we're doing something a little bit different. We are just gonna be doing Uber Eats and Grubhub, Ooh. and specifically using the Para app. We're gonna use it for accepting declining orders, and also we are gonna use it for the auto decline. Basically letting Para decide every order that we take. So without further ado, Mary's gonna let you know about our goal. Let's try for 80. 80 bucks. I think that's fair because we, <laughs> we don't, don't know, know. What, we don't know what Para's gonna have us take, but we're just listening to Para tonight. Para doesn't order decline it, we're taking the order. So yep. we're relying on you, Para. So we're gonna get Para and the two apps rolling and get that ball rolling. Yep. All right, so let's set the parameters for for the uh, auto decline. And you set these up before you log in? Set these up before you log in. Okay. So we're gonna go to auto decline, and because there's so many, there's so many more features now. In, so we, in auto so we're doing this for Grubhub and Uber. Yeah, so we're gonna do Grubhub and Uber Eats only tonight. And uh, let's see, the first thing is minimum, global minimum offer amounts. So I think because we're doing Just only Uber Eats and, and Grubhub, $5 minimum per order is good. Well, how, mu how much is the base for Uber? Uber is two fifty. dollars And Grub well, Grubhub, we don't know. Yeah, I don't think we wanna go lower than five because there's a quest tonight. Yes. So we don't wanna go lower than five, but I do think dollar per mile, we wanna change this from $1.50, which is what we normally have, to $1. Oh. Just because of the fact that like we only, we're only doing the two apps. So yeah. we need, like, we'll be less picky. Dollar per, hour, oh, dollar per hour is also new. That's an interesting one. What does that do? Like that's if like, I guess if you're you're aiming to um, have a certain dollar per hour. Oh, so like- So if we, we wanted to do $25 mm -hmm. an hour, like what happens is I'll go to, um, I'll go to an example here uh, to offer history. And so here, for example, this Rapungi order, it doesn't show it on there, but usually what usually oh, what it like shows- Oh, like if it says like, it's like $15 and it's gonna take half, a, half an hour, it's gonna offer it to us. Right, exactly. Okay. So so we can actually tell okay. it so if we, we wanted so to limit, limit the dollar per hour. So 25 Cause, Cause that kind of factors in time. You know, my only issue with that is it doesn't really know like how long it's really gonna take. So it could decline something that might actually be, be really quicker. quick. All right, so, you know, may so maybe, yeah, but we should really try it though. I'm, I'm kind of afraid to try it. I mean, let's do, all right, let's make it 20, like minimum of $20 an hour. Okay. So let's underestimate it. Right. As opposed to overestimate So it will give us more offers. Yeah, we're exactly. So, so. Okay, so that, this is, this that's is for the global, Uber? That, this is the global. Oh, global, so this is, this global. is for everything. So $5 per order, $1 per mile, $20 per, per hour. hour. Okay, so now for Grubhub. We can make it specific for Grubhub and Uber. Um, but I think I think we're fine just going with the with the global. I don't think right, we need to is, be specific. What else is down there? Spe specific. Uh, passenger rating. We're not picking up any customers. We're right. So up we're food. so we're we, we're good there. Uh, we don't want to go to 400 miles. Yeah. Um, let's keep it to uh, no more than 10. Uh, let's go. To, let's let's yeah. Let's cut it off at 10 miles because because we know that Grubhub is going to have all these long mileage ones. Right. So they'll auto decline anything that's more than 10 miles. Yes. Okay. Okay, I like that. Um, Distance for, for oh, that's that's probably for rideshare. I assume this is for rideshare because how would it know? Yeah. Right? So I'm, I guess we we'll just leave that alone. Um, decline flagged orders. We don't want to do that. We don't want to decline stacked orders. Stacked orders minimum offer amounts. Oh, interesting. Right. So we'll stick to the. Uh, I feel like for stacked orders, we want to up the. Like we don't want to do a stack of water for one dollar per mile. I think we want to. So we want to. Our our, our usual is twelve dollars. So I would say we still go with that. It has to be a minimum of twelve. Uh, well, it's it's just a per mile on a per oh, mile basis. Oh. So do we just make that then? Six. A, I mean, per mile, a dollar fifty per mile, or two dollars per mile for stack oh, orders. Oh, that's what I meant. Um, two dollars. All right, for stack order is two dollars per mile. The per hour thing, um, we'll do the same thing. Well, I think for. We can make it really, uh, yeah, let's, let's stick with the 20. Yeah, because then they'll be showing us more. Right, exactly. And we can always decline. Divided stacked orders minimum or offer amounts. Okay, this is kind of like what you were talking about. Oh, okay. The, the amount of the stacked order, wait, we gotta do math. The, the amount of the stacked order will be divided by the number of deliveries in it. If the value is below this amount, it will be auto declined. Yeah, but it's still per mile it's, per yeah, it's hour. it's still per mile per hour. Yes, I'm kind of confused by that one. So I guess it's the same parameters as that. 
I would assume it would be the same. It's yeah. Divided stack. Like what it should what, is, what, what it should say really is like the minimum amount of money that you want. But what's to what's the difference between divided stacked and stacked? Like like what it's saying is like if the stacked order is twelve dollars. Um, yeah, but it, this is asking the same. Right. It's asking, right. I, I feel like there's a mistake here. Yeah. And they don't. They didn't mean to put it like this. So I yeah. don't want to touch this because okay. it seems there's a mistake here. Really, what it should be is like just the amount of money. Like we would say. We would say twelve dollars. Right. We don't want to stack the, take a stock to order less than twelve dollars. Yeah, that's what. We, yeah. Yeah, but this is you know. All right, what's that? And this is what just is declining order? shopping pages, which we all don't right. want, we don't want to decline no, shopping. No, we want to we want to see them. I think all this right. all looks good. All right. So we're just so, going to use Para. We're going to use Para. We're going to do Uber Eats, Grubhub only. We're going to accept and decline all offers through the Para app as well, right. and let Para auto decline. And I mean, it should be an easy shift because we're not yeah. going to have to make any decisions. Para is going to make all the decisions for us. Mm -hmm. that, why does that have a little? Oh, that's power works. We'll talk about that another day. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yep. All right. We're ready. Let's do it. Oh, there's uh, spots open. For what? I got a For grub up? Yeah, get some grubba box. Ooh, I got some nice. grubba box. So hopefully, so don't go to Applebee's because okay, Applebee's is out of the zone. Go to the village. Okay. Village is in the zone. This way, then we'd be sure to. Are uh, we in the zone now? Yes, we're in the zone now. But like, we're gonna be out of the zone if we go that way. Pretty soon. And when when do we like, have to like, be? Like like here's the zone. When do we have to be in the block? Oh, we're in it now. Oh, so we have it. We're in. Yeah, we're in. We got. Oh, to like so we don't have to. So we don't have to stay in. in we have to stay in it, but we need to start in it. Right, so we're, we're starting, so we're in it. True, but I'll still go that way just to like be on the safe side. Okay. Because Grubhub is weird. And why not? It's Bidger over there anyway. All right, uh, make sure I turn my sound on so we can hear the Uber Eats sounds. Oh, Grubhub. Oh, Grubhub. Okay, so already we got a para. This is a good one. Dollar thirteen per mile. We're going 9.19 miles. $10.39 for a Kirin Chinese China restaurant. Uh, we're doing it? We're doing it because uh. that's para's telling us what orders we're taking, Mary. Uh. I know it's terrible, but Par is t telling us what orders we're taking. Oh, interesting about Kiernan, because that's the one over by but, Supercuts, right? The one. No, Kieran's. No, Kieran is is. Right, the um, one by Smashburger. Smashburger, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was on Upside trying to find gas this morning. Okay. And, and they had it for them. Yes. Yeah, they're on there. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so let's let's break down this order now. Now that we've looked at, I have the screenshot. Ten dollars and thirty-nine cents. So that was over five dollars. Okay. Okay. Um, I mean, it's two dollars. It's two dollars a mile. No, it's not. It's a dollar thirteen per mile. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. It's one dollar and thirteen cents per mile. I don't know why I was thinking it was like twenty dollars. Now the dollar per hour is interesting. The dollar per hour is forty-one dollars and forty-two cents because Para is projecting Wait, this order. Forty-one dollars. Yeah. Because it's projecting it's going to take us fifteen minutes total. Okay. So let's let's so let's keep an let's keep an eye on that. All okay? right. So what time did we take the order? We took the order at six ten. So, it so two thinks, minutes ago. Yeah, it thinks we're going to be done with this so order it, by six twenty-five. So it's assuming that it's assuming the food is already ready. Right. It's assuming it's ready because it's going to take another ten minutes to get that way. Yeah. So let's see. This is a great way to gauge if you should actually use the Para uh, dollar per hour feature. Yes. My prediction: uh, it, it, it's going to take more than fifteen minutes. I don't expect it to be ready. This is Grubhub. <laughs> Kieran is very hit or miss. Yes. But this is exciting, Mary. We're letting Para decide what we do tonight. Yes. We, we, this is a very easy shift for us. We don't have mm -hmm. to make any decisions. All we got to do is pick up the food and and deliver it. Like, our brains can be off tonight, which is perfect because I had to wake up, you know, an extra hour early tomorrow this morning since James' school bus driver decided not to come pick him yeah. up. So, my brain does I don't have much left in the brain for today. No. None. Hi, uh, Christopher S. for Grubhub. Great, thank you so much. All right, well, so far, Par is on the ball because... <laughs> yeah. Because of this, because the order was ready. Oh, sorry. Grubhub is saying 621 drop-off, but we're going to get there at 627, so it's so, going to be 17 minutes. So two minutes... It's still not terrible, Mary, for, no. 10, for $10. But also, we're going on... on um, on Sunrise Highway, so right. I might be able to make up those two minutes. But Para, like Para, like might know that as well. Now, it'd be interesting if Para just happens to know the fact that the order is ready, but I don't mm. think Para knows that. 
And the real no. question, and the real question is... And it's is, Grubhub, and Grubhub, like, you, yeah. you don't know. And the real question is, Mary, how many times are we going to say para this episode? Ooh. Yeah. Comment below. How many times do you think? <laughs> yep. And then I want somebody to literally count every single time we say para. Melly, you're on it. You're on it. <laughs> <laughs> Melly, oh. that's your job. All right. Uber is good. I'll open up the para app for now. Yes, there's no... No drop-off instructions at all. Hmm. Just leave at. Oh, oh wait. I'll leave at. Leave package at front door. Thanks, friend. So there are those directions there. Yeah, you're a friend. Leave package at front door. Thanks, friend. Friend. So there must be a front door, Mary. Yeah. Based, yeah. based on that. Where do we go after this? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Great question. Maybe we'll get an order. Uber's up and running. The good thing is we're in the Grubhub zone. We got blocks. So we get blocks. We should be getting Grubhub orders tonight. <clears> oh, <throat> uh, we're getting another Grubhub order. Maybe, let's say. Okay, we'll take. Well, we're going to Zing Wang Chinese Kitchen next. Okay. Ooh, possible trifecta for uh, for Chinese oh, places. We tried, Maybe we'll we do it again. It, we tried it. Uh, yeah. All right. What was cool. it? Two two um, shifts ago. Yeah. And didn't happen, but we will try it again. So another cool thing what Para does, uh, I didn't get a screenshot of it, but you can actually open in Maps uh, from Para, so you can then like nap, so you can navigate. Well, we're going up at Bayshore. Well, well, I know that we, yeah. like, we're not going to use that feature, but if people were using it by themselves. Yeah. By the way, anybody interested in using a, using Para, we have a link in the description below. It's absolutely free to use, so you might as well Our daughter signed it. up for it. Yeah, daughter, yeah, they signed up for it. So oh. link in the description below uh, to sign up for Para. I'm All right, I got to add on while I was walking up to his house. Okay. It's another zing wang. Okay. So we'll talk about that. Okay. You know, one thing I really wish Grubhub would get resolved is um, the whole entire taking a picture when dropping it off. Like, I wish they would have that. It would be really nice. Because you're still having to do the... Yeah, so you still have to, you can do a separate text message with the picture. All right. No Grubhub. So, so I took this with, with the Para app, reviewed it with the Para app okay. as walking in complete darkness, so that was a little bit difficult, not gonna lie. This add-on. Well, well, what's the first one? We didn't even we didn't even go over what the first one was. Okay, so the first one is $7.21 uh, for 4.9 miles. So it's $1.47 per mile. Okay. Nine minutes, $46 per hour. But now obviously everything changes because of the add-on. Right. So what I'm a little confused about, this says, the add-on is $17.22, hmm. uh, $12.11 tip, $2.74 per mile, 6.28 miles, 6 minutes, $177.12 per hour for this order. What? How is that even possible? Well, because it's $17 for 6 minutes. So if you did this order, like, all hour. Right, for every 6 minutes. Right. But, it, it, but it, that's impossible for it to take 6 minutes. Right, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, it's... Well, it is two minutes to the store. Right. But. So, the only thing, like, I didn't really get a chance, like, I'm just going to look at this screenshot now. Jeez. Jesus. What a schmuck. Did you guys see that, mohead? Anyway, the Power app, obviously, I didn't have a chance to really look at this great. It doesn't really, it's kind of confusing because it doesn't really show, like, the other drop that you're already doing because it doesn't really know, tell you it's an add-on, but I just know it's an add-on because we just took one. Right. Um, so it, it's not looking at the, the whole entire route. Okay, so we don't know which one's being dropped off first. We don't... No, we do because we know in the Grubhub app. Okay. Well, but, yeah, but, but that's what I mean. But Para is not telling us that. Right. If, tr if trying to make the decision in Para, we wouldn't know that. But we know that because we set these parameters for auto decline, that it's that good. That it's good. So what I'm curious about is... Did it combine the order, or are these truly two separate oh, orders? Right. So what I'm going to do... No, these are these are truly two separate orders. So that's pretty damn good, Mary. So is that one truly $17 for that one order? Yes, $17.22, oh, so because it's a $12 tip. Because this make, makes this, like, incredible. This is incredible, yeah. So Grubhub. <laughs> <laughs> why, why don't we ever... What is happening? Is Grubhub because we're using the Power app like this? No, maybe, like, people are actually... Getting because of Amazon. Yeah, maybe they're finally using the damn thing. Central Islip? Uh, Bayshore. Oh, oh, plate. Wait a minute. Is Poplar. It, this is that stupid house that we can't find. Excellent. That we're going to go to the, that it's going to show us the wrong. Yeah, this is the house. Oh, okay. We'll deal with that. Right, let me go get these, get these pickups. It's so okay. weird. Like, I'm so, like, out of, Wait, like, I got to do the other address. I'm so out of, like, rhythm with using Grubhub. 
Oh, and the addresses are, they're, they're very close. Yeah, which is probably why the dollar per hour is so good on this. The yes, mileage is I like nothing. All right, you go. Yeah, oh. let me go do this, and because it's the second drop off anyway. Hi, how are you? Hi, oh, you're hiding. <laughs> uh, it's okay. Uh, I got two Grubhub orders. One is for uh, Skakor, and the other one's for Roderick P. Skakor S and Roderick P. Skakor. Roderick? Thank you so much. Awesome, thank you so much. Uh, so I got here is uh, Rod Roderick is yeah. the first one. All right, I'm gonna put them both in the same bag anyway because okay. they're, they're not huge. But Roderick is first, and that makes the other guy second, which I can't really pronounce the name too well. It's like Shakira or something. So I want to see. So yeah, see, mine goes that way, and yours goes that way. It's it's that house. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so we know it's the one in that dead end. Oh, oh, the one that we did that, the, the yeah. yeah, the one that we, oh. yeah. Is it the same instructions? Yeah, the same, the same instructions. Please call me when you arrive. Please also ring the bell and wait, and, uh, wait until I get to the door. I will not open the door until the driver leaves to comply with social distancing. So, yep. yeah. So they just have never They just changed never changed that it. message. So I'm not wearing the mask this time because she did not wear a mask. But now we're going to do this and actually we know where the house is. Right. So we don't go to say, through the same drama. That was great. This is so funny. I can't believe we're delivering to this house again. And both addresses are like super close. Yeah. Now I ain't fired up about Grubhub tonight so far. It's out of control. That's why you do the blocks, Mary. And then start in the zone. What you gotta do is be there at the beginning of it. But sometimes that's difficult. This is gonna be like an incredible hour. You're right. Just because of the $17. Right. And Mary, the crazy thing about this is, we would not have taken any of these orders. No. If it wasn't for Para telling us to take these orders. Right. That is interesting. And also like, the mileage, since we were here, the mileage actually is not that bad. No. I mean, to get us out here, yeah. We would never have taken it. Yeah. Because of, of the mileage. Right, exactly. But power is like, listen, you are the puppets and I am the puppet master. Yep. And, and, like, and okay. for a night where we're like, oh, we're just going to do Uber because we're like, we can't, we can't uh, do any Grubhub. Yeah, exactly. Grubhub doesn't give us anything. Grubhub's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, some blocks available for you. But we want to do Uber because there's UberQuest. That's right, Grubhub. We got <laughs> you sons of. Without any DoorDash in the mix tonight, we should still well, be able to get the UberQuest. We'll know um, in a minute when uh, we drop it off if we can turn Uber back on. Yes. Hello. Hi, this is Lou from Grubhub. Just want to let you know that I'm here with your order. Oh, okay, thank you. Yep. Okay. Yeah. All right, thanks. No problem. Right How's it going? Have a great night. So, I mean, they, they really need to update that because they're clearly not really too worried about, about COVID. It's not, it's not a concern. Yeah. They, they, what do you say? Just leave it outside? No. The, the, the same woman came out. Oh. The guy answers the phone. The woman comes out to get it. But she was on the phone, so I couldn't, like, tell her how excited I was. Yes. Um, all right. So, uh, while, Madeline, uh, while Alyssa was on the phone, uh, Grapple sent us another offer that we have to accept because Para wants us to accept it. Okay. And it's a little scary, man. Not going to lie. Well, should we... Should we do this and then we'll we'll uh no because we got two something? miles so okay. i need to like let you know now it's important oh, uh so it's a rite aid oh um we've never done grubhub we've never done a grubhub shop and pay now you have your credit card right uh yeah does it work i don't know so grubhub does i mean power does tell you how many items is on there now i didn't look at this screenshot wait, wait, which rite aid because we're like i should have really scrolled to actually look at the whole entire offer i mean not that we're not taking it but Right. Um, I could scroll and see how many items it was. But the offer, first of all, just so you know, is $6.82 uh, for 5.15 miles. Ugh. So $1.33 per mile. $21 per hour because it's projected to take 19 minutes. But that's our parameters. We said $20 an hour. So this fits in all the parameters. Yeah, but where's the Rite Aid? Because we're like... Uh, the Rite Aid... Oh, God. Um, we can cancel this one. Uh, because it's in Brentwood and the drop off in Brentwood. So let's cancel this one. Yes, that one we cancel because that cancel. one is out of the... Yeah. If PAR doesn't have where you can say like specific towns you don't want to go to. Not yet, but they're actually going to be adding that. Oh, that's in the works? That's in the works Wait, that they're going to add going? like we're a like, geolocation. So that they're adding like a geolocation where you can say where you don't want to go. This is probably why I gave it yeah, to because, Brentwood because we're going north. Because we would not have taken this. Yeah, we're not going to... No, not, no, this this one. We would oh. not have taken this one. Oh, this one, because this one's going to, uh, like, North Bay Shore. North Bay Shore. Yeah, they tipped really well, though. Yeah. But the problem is now, like, where the heck are we? Well, we'll go back south. 
And we're not, but we're not going to take any orders that go to Brentwood. No, no, we're we're definitely not doing it. Yeah. But I'm just. Uh, I have to wait until we. Uh, I think I have to wait till we finish pick, dropping this one off before I can cancel oh, it that. Oh, it won't. You, you're not at that step yet. Yeah, I can't seem to cancel it yet. I'll probably be able to cancel it afterwards. So we, we still don't get to experience what a Rite Aid, what a uh, Grubhub Shop and Pay is like. Because mm. for anybody who doesn't know Long Island, Brentwood is one of the worst areas on Long Island. Yeah. So, it's, it's one step below Wine Dance. Yeah, exactly. So it's not a good area. I don't mind being there during the daytime, but at nighttime, it's a really bad area to go to. So it's just something that definitely don't want don't want to be going there at night we've done it once before and it was kind of nerve-wracking check out our video where we took every single order and we were just forced to go to Brentwood <laughs> so we're taking every order the power gives us except for an area that we don't want to go to right. for safety concerns exactly uh, all right so 7-eleven let's see where but where's it is. the 7-eleven drop-off is in West Islip North Bay Shore but Drop off is in West Islip, so it'll get us out of here. Which, um... Hang on, let me accept it. Uh, so we're going to... No, I'm actually just going to drop it in the map here. It's on Fifth Avenue. Let's make it easy. Starting route to 1639 Fifth Avenue. 1639 Fifth Avenue. 7-Eleven. Oh. We got to go all the way back north. Uh, but at least we're going to be going... It's going to, at least this order is going to bring us back south to West Islip. We're going all the way south to West Islip. So we'll get out of this area. Yeah, but... Yeah, but, like, look what we have to do. We have to go. All, we have to go like all the way down, um, and then all the way back north. Like we can't go to another Seven Eleven. We have to go to that Seven Eleven. We have to go to that Seven Eleven because it's not. It's not a shop and pay. And the other option is we go to Dix Hills. Nine dollars and thirteen cents, uh, eight miles, for some place in Dix Hills. But I say this is at least good because it gets us out of this area. But it's not because we have to go. Oh my God! The person just went through a red light. Wow. So we're not even like in a good area. So you want me to cancel this one too? I can cancel this one too. This one's on Uber. It's a different, different platform. Want me to cancel it? I'll cancel it. And just start driving south so we can get out of this area. They kind of hesitated at that light. Yeah, because the person just completely zoomed right through the light. Yeah, let's go south. Let's get the hell out of danger zone area over here. Mm -hmm. Not a great area. The other offer that was Grubhub uh, was, was over in Dix Hills. But we were dealing with the 7-Eleven issue, so yeah. we already had an order at that point. So let's check. I just want to check the Grubhub stuff now. Yeah, we so far today on Grubhub, we made twenty seven dollars. And we first, started a little, hour. and and we started a little. We got the first order at six ten. So in yeah. fifty minutes, we made twenty seven dollars. Twenty seven bucks. Yep. That's Not unheard fair. of on, on Grubhub. That's awesome. That's great. That that's. <coughs> I, I really feel like that has to do with that. Definitely has to do with the block. There's no doubt about it. All right. So yeah, let's head south. I mean, even if we got to go towards the village here, Mary, at least it's away from here. Yeah. Because, yeah, we're, we're just too close to Brentwood is mm -hmm. the issue here. We just don't want to be there. And this area of Bayshore is the bad area of Bayshore. Right, over over this way. Yeah. Well, you know what? So, Before we actually go get our morning coffee, let's just do some uh, shout-outs, Mary. Oh, what do sure. you think? Okay. So shout-out to the newest Long Island Dash crew members. Welcome to the crew. Welcome to the crew. Mandy Ann, Leo K, and... Our buddy, Random Ryan, who showed up on the live that we just did oh, this uh, past Ryan. week. So, Welcome to the crew. Random Ryan also plays on Gold Poker as well. So thank you guys for joining the Long Island Dash crew. Wait, we're getting an offer possibly? Nope. Here on this one, Para Auto declined it. Let's take a look and see what Para Auto declined. Oh, it's $29. It must yeah. have been going very far. Yeah, let's, let's take a look. Offer history. It was a Pizziola order, and it was... $29.06, but it was going 15 miles. Ooh. And our parameters said we didn't want to go any more than 10 miles. Exactly. So this is 15, 15 miles. Where it was the heck going, was it going? It was going to, uh, it was going to Babylon. That's wrong. Yeah, that's not 15 miles. There's no way this was 15 miles. Oh, man, it's well, already you know, gone? The pickup address, yeah, it's gone because auto declined it. The pickup address, though, was in North Babylon. Yeah, but we just hop on Southern State. We'll be there in, in two minutes. So, oh man. So it didn't know that. It didn't know that oh. we could possibly be to Pizziola really quickly because it, because and then it, go to Babylon. Because So should we remove the mileage? Should we remove I this? I think so because that yeah. that that this this was a great order. It's twenty nine dollars and six cents. Yeah. So we're not have taken us that long. All right, so Yeah, so oh, let man. So, yeah. That's a twenty dollar tip. Yeah, what the freak? All right, so so we gotta shut the mileage thing off. Because that yeah. Yeah. We got to shut the because mileage Because the mileage off. was really wrong on that. Yeah. There was no way that was... Because Pizziola is just north of mm -hmm. Deer Park Avenue. 
Yeah, that's pretty, that's, that, that that's, sucks. All right, but that's okay. We just learned something though. We um, learned something that limiting miles on para is a bad idea. Yeah, because they're, because Grubhub, we've, we've noticed Grubhub sometimes mess, mess, they mess up quite often on yeah, the mileage. with mileage. And this one here, was way off, not 15, not 15. miles. No. And even still, Mary, it's $1.85 per mile. Right. And but because we had the parameter of we didn't want to travel more than 10. We, we lost the order. Oh, so GG to Pizziola. Congratulations, whoever just got that order. Yeah. You just yeah. made $30 <laughs> in a really quick amount of time. Right. You bastard. The only thing is Pizziola might not have been ready. They, we, right. always, we always have that issue there. For 30 bucks? For 30 bucks, you're waiting 15 yeah. minutes for it. It doesn't matter. Yeah, exactly. All right, so uh, while we were in 7-Eleven, Para auto declined correctly a Chipotle with $6.89 for 7.2 miles. So it was under a dollar per mile. Okay. A correct Chipotle, Chipotle. decline. I mean, the other one was correct too. I mean, correct in terms of the parameters, the parameters that we, we put set in. Up. Yeah. We just feel but like the <laughs> mileage is probably wrong. It, it was wrong. It was not. Yeah, no, correct. definitely it was wrong. All right, let's see. All right, we got auto decline uh, on Uber. See why they auto declined it. Uh, they auto declined it uh, because it was two dollars and fifty cents. <laughs> it was less than a dollar per mile. Uh, everything is wrong with this order. Yes. Good job, Para. Yep. Good job, Para. Didn't have to think about it. Or well, Grubhub, oh, Grubhub is coming in. Let's see. Uh, an auto decline. Okay. So the auto decline for this one uh, reason is uh, under a dollar per mile because it was seven dollars thirty six cents for eight miles. Ooh. So that's an order decline. Yeah, that's an order decline every yeah. day. See, <laughs> and the drop off address was Wine Dance, which once they have the geolocation stuff set in there. We will be setting that as. Yeah, oh. we'll get that as well. Okay, here's. So let's see. Pickup address is West Islip. Drop off is West Islip. Oh. 7 Eleven. Okay. $9.09, um, 4.4 4 miles. Higby Lane. Okay, so I. Uh, on Higby Lane? Yeah. Wait, I'm confused. I don't know where that is. Um, um, I'll open the maps here. Uh, so the order, okay. First, since we're doing this. This is Grubhub or this is? This, this is Uber Eats. Okay. All right, so our first for Uber. This is our we first need two Uber. more yeah. for, the, uh, for the Quest. For the Quest, exactly. This is a good one. It was $9.09 .09 for 4.4 miles. Okay. So it was over $2 a mile. Perfect. Um, in terms of the dollar per hour, it was $21 per hour. So it was over that as well. Okay. Um, three items, because it is a shop and pay. What are we getting? Uh, we are getting um, Lay's Ruffles, okay. uh, Tostitos Dip, and uh, Cheddar Ruffles. So original Ruffles, oh, Cheddar so Ruffles, two, and a dip. Two, two chips and a dip. Yep, for Dana D. Dana D. West Islip for both the dress, you know, the pick up and the drop oh, off. Do we have an address? Yes. So I think like, by the way, since we just showed off the 10 mile parameter thing, we still go by that. Like we're not gonna do more than 10 miles, but if we determine unless that like it's, it's like wrong, really good. unless it's really good, and we determine right. that that right. this like is the, wrong, like we look at it and like no, that would we just have to have it off since since Pyro right. uh, um, screwed us, yeah, essentially, but not really. Then it's us. I shall return. Enjoy. Yup. It doesn't actually show um, the actual size of what this should be, but it's four ninety nine, four fifty nine, but they don't have the original. Ruffles, only scallop, cream, and onion, and cheddar. Oh, let me just call the customer. I think it's easier to just call them. That's 559, so what's the Hello? Hi, this is Lou from Uber Eats. Um, so I'm just at 7, I'm at 7 Eleven right now. Just wanted to let you know they um, they don't have the original. Um, they have sour cream and onion, and they have they, they have cheddar, obviously, but they have sour cream and onion. Uh, do you want me to get you a sour cream and oh. onion, or do you want me to get you two cheddars? Um, the sour cream and onion would be great. Thank you so much. And ju just to confirm with you, um, it was the, because uh, the app doesn't actually specifically tell me the size, it was the two and a half ounce one. It was like the, the smaller bags, right? Um, I, I tried to do the bigger bag. Um, you know what, actually, I have to do this one anyway, because the card they give me will get, well, it'll decline for the bigger one, which is, looks like it's 559 over here. They probably upcharge on the app, but where it's four fifty nine for the for the smaller bags, you know, the uh, more personal size two point two and a half ounce bags. So I, I have to get these ones anyway. And they only have one bag of that, the other ones. Hello, did we get disconnected? Hi, 
Okay, I think we got disconnected. Oh, okay. I paid, um, I, paid, I paid five something. I tried to get the bigger bag. For the bigger, all they have is uh, one bag of the uh, of the cheddar. They don't have anything else. Okay, so I'll take the cheddar for the big bag unless they have any other regular potato chip. I don't know how it works. Uh, let me see. It doesn't have to be Lay's, it could be anything. Uh, let me see what else they have here. Or like a bag of Doritos, I think I could if they don't have anything. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, Doritos. All right. All right cool. cool. Sounds good. All right, thank you so much. No problem. All right, take care. Bye. All right, hopefully the car does not get declined, which could happen. How's it going? It's in a bag. All right, hopefully the car doesn't get declined. Oh, nice, they finally fixed it. Beautiful. Ah, uh, for this one, don't cut. Yeah. What was that? Don't put in that. Well, you know what, this is an Uber Eats order, so I'm dropping off at somebody's store, so I mean. No, when you beat down the door, don't put in that. What was that? These are bags, I'm not. I don't give you okay. any okay? No, 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 no big deal. Yeah. All right, cool. Thank you. Oh, I just need a receipt. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's for Uber Eats, so not for me. I love to see you though. Have a good night. We don't have a bag big enough for all of this. All right, didn't go without a hitch. I had to call the customer. Oh, what do you mean? Why can't you put the, why don't you put that in the bottom of the bag? He was like saying something about the fact that like, yeah, let me see what he's talking about. It's, it's a it's it's yeah. a bag of chips. You can that can be yeah. hanging out of the top. Yeah, was he, why are you listening to the guy in the Seven Eleven? No, 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 this guy is out of control. <laughs> why are you listening to the guy in Seven <laughs> Eleven? He doesn't have a bag anything. He, he hasn't bagged anything since since 1945. Exactly. I think we've delivered here before. We don't do it. All right. Please? No. Oh. Uh, Long River Asian Restaurant. Let's see. Uh, West Side Slip going to Babylon. Yes. Long we're River? We're going to Bedford Avenue. Yeah. Um, oh, dang. Where are we? Hang on. I'm going to have to just chuck I it know up. where it is. It's on Union, right? I think so. Starting route to 351 yeah, County Road. Yeah, yeah, take yeah, a yeah. ride on the Higby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know where it is. Okay. All right, cool. So this order. So we, this was this, Uber? Yeah, this, this, is, uh, this is Uber. And this is the Chinese food tri trifecta, Mary. We did it. <gasps> we did it. Yeah. Ooh, can we get the Quintef? Oh, now. Like, we need more Chinese food places. <laughs> How many Chinese food places can we get to? But we, we made the Chinese, you know, you got to make like little um, like trifecta things. Yes. Like. <laughs> yes, yes. We need a, uh, mer merch, trifecta merch. It's the word we'll trifecta. That's what we need to. We'll have to just do like a triangle. Like, and, like, and with we'll number three. Oh, a triangle. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. So this. Yeah. yeah, like a triangle with the, the numerical three inside and then trifecta yeah. underneath. Yes, yes. Oh, man, that's it. a great shirt, Mary. <laughs> that's a freaking fantastic shirt. Uh, so this order, all right, breaking it down a little bit more. $7.50, 5.4 miles. So it's $1.39 per mile. Okay. All right, so it's below what we would do. $23.68 uh, per wait. hour. Okay. I'm like, wait, we're getting paid $23. No, that'd be nice. That would be awesome. But if we did this order three times in an hour, we'd get paid $23.68 an hour. Hi, uh, picking up for Jessica L. Uber. Jessica L. for Uber. Great. Thanks so much. Have a great night. Oh, all right, Terrace Diner. Terrace Uber? Diner's up next. Uber. Oh, yep. seven you got miles. it. Yeah, this is a good one too. Seven dollars fifty-eight fifty cents for two point eight miles, Mary. And we got and the quest. And we're gonna get the quest exactly. Beautiful. How much have you made? Um, probably close to 40. I've made 46 dollars so far. Hey, you've been using Para? No, I've only, um, I've only been getting DoorDash. Oh, okay. You guys been getting Uber orders? Um, we've been getting more Grubhub than Uber, actually. It's very strange. Oh, that is weird. Are you guys at a place right now? Uh, we're dropping off and now we're going to Terrace Diner. Right at Panera Bread. I had to deliver an order in Dixon. Oh, was it a rich area? No, it was like, it was like your Avenue. It was on the side of your Avenue. Oh, okay. Did you hear him? I think he said thank you. Oh, no, I didn't hear him.
Meet at door, please ring doorbell. A good combination. Outside. Those work well hand in hand, yeah. hand together. We're gonna meet you at the door, ring the doorbell. Boom. Quest in the books. Supreme chili sea steak. Ten dollars and five cents. It's going to it's going to Bayshore. Where's what's it's, it? It's not bad Bayshore. Sup, what's it called? Uh, Supreme Philly Cheesesteaks. That's um on Where railroad. Go? Supreme chili cheesecake. What? That's that one on railroad, right right before Deer Park right before uh, Deer Park Avenue. We've been there a million times. The one uh, right by the like right by the railroad. Right next to the um, the ramen place. Oh yes, yes, yes. Um, so this so this order that we're taking, which is getting us at least just get started on our second quest now. That's the good news. The bad news is it's a lot of mileage. It was ten dollars and five cents, nine point five miles, so a dollar and six cents per mile. But it's all like Sunrise Highway, so it's twenty one minutes for twenty eight dollars an hour. How's it going? Hi. I have Elizabeth P for Uber. Elizabeth. Here you go. Great. Thanks so much. Have a great night. How long did it say this order would take? Because this is saying like 12 minutes to get there. It took, tw it, it said 21 minutes total. So it's going to be a lot quicker than that. Well, what, what time did you, you take the order? Let's say, uh, let's see. I took it at 8.02 and it says, and it said 20, 21 minutes. Oh, so 19. Yeah, so it's it, like, like very close, yeah. very close. And this is an Uber? This is Uber, yeah. Get us started on our second quest. No. So it's crazy because despite the fact that we're doing a lot of miles tonight, like we're making money. Yeah, I'm curious what we're what we're at. Yeah, if we ever get a chance to, be, and that's the other kind of funny thing about tonight is we've been moving. We've been moving, and we're not even we're not even doing DoorDash. Now it helps that we're on this block for Grubhub, which the block ends. We're going to be ending soon. Let me see if there's anything available, anything else available. But it just shows that these blocks for Grubhub are worth doing. Getting on. Yeah, no, it's nothing else available at this current time. But we'll keep checking. And keep checking. No reason not to. This is a meet at door, front door. Now I'm gonna go lurking in your backyard. <laughs> yes, I'm just gonna <laughs> stand by your fence and say, what's up? You know, since we got the tally of, of Grubhub, we haven't gotten any more orders. Oh, oh. What's, it, what's it? Let's say. Oh, nope. Nope, no good. Nope. But what was it though? We need to know what it was. What did they auto decline? Uh, Lily's Dessert Lounge. Oh. It was uh, $13 for 16 miles. Oof. Yeah. It was going from North Babylon to Seaford. Ooh. <laughs> That's a bad one. That's a bad one. Good job. Even if we were like closer, it's still bad. Yeah. Uh, what do we got, Grubhub? Up? Oh. We're oh. going to Qdoba. All right. It's got to be like right near there. Yeah, three point, $1.63 per mile. It's right by there. Perfect. We're going to be going back south. $5.13, 3.6, 3.16 .6, yeah. miles. All right, so that's the next one. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Okay, there you go. Thank you. Have a great night. You too. Oh, you got it? Yeah, I got it. All right, so we're at $66.76 so far. And that's not including this Qdoba order. We're doing very good tonight. And this was seven and change? Uh, no, this was a, this oh, was a small crap. one. It was, I did it again. It was $5 and change. So what did you say, 66? Yeah, 66 So, so we're going to be at 70? Yeah. With an hour and a half to go, probably. This is pretty amazing, Mary. We, we're doing a ton of mileage tonight, yet we're making money. Right. Without DoorDash, n nevertheless. Right. That's interesting. It's very interesting. It's a lot of mileage. But we're moving. But we're moving. And the mileage hasn't and been... And we haven't stopped. It hasn't been bad. But, and also the mileage has not been bad mileage. It's good mileage and it's bad mileage. This has not been bad mileage. Let's, let's take my goal and shatter it, people. Yeah. Hell yeah. Well, we're pretty close to doing that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we don't. We don't yeah. Well, we don't, really. What do we need? One more for Uber, or two more for Uber? Uh, two more for Uber, but it's only eight twenty-three. We still have an hour and a half to go. Eight twenty-three, and we do two Ubers, seven dollars each, or even five dollars each. Yeah. And uh, it's fifteen dollars. We've made, we've already yeah. surpassed our our goal. Now the negative in in seven minutes, we're off the Grubhub block, which the Grubhub block is definitely has been one of the one of the driving forces here and you can't see right now while, while we're on an order oh no you can yeah only doordash is annoying with that. only doordash is annoying with everything I'm gonna come in the bathroom. yeah i'm gonna use the bathroom too let's all go to the bathroom together 
<laughs> Come on around, Dash Crew. Let's all go to the bathroom together. Oh, I... Hi. Uh, yeah, Grubhub for Courtney D. Great. Thanks so much. Have a great night. See, what, what I think is fun about the shift, Mary, is like, this is like really like the unknown tonight. This is, we're, we're, we're like on the, like, the edge of our, our seat tonight. Into the unknown. Yeah, really into the unknown. Yeah, Letting yeah. Kara determine our night. Check Rob Hub. Come on. Rob Hub. Open up a schedule. Come on, be open. Oh. Got one? Yep. We're on? Yep, we're on. We're till, back in. Till 10 o'clock, too. Awesome. Nice. We're good. We gotta remember to always look for the wait. We, this is the gold, man. Yeah, we gotta. Oh. 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 And it, oh. Oh, and we got the ding. We got the ding. Coldstone, nine dollars and seven cents, four point six miles, going to Deer Park. Let's do All it. Right, we'll take it. All right. Uh, I'm picking up Emmanuel A. Emmanuel A. Uber. Thank you. Thank you so much. I think I gotta do. Uh... Oh, is it a code? Oh no, I think it's just. I don't know. I think. I think. Yeah, it's a pen. There's a pen involved in this one. Oh. Emmanuel's gotten in trouble. Uh oh. Emmanuel's been in trouble. He's been. He's been telling fibs. He's been fibbling. Been fibbling. Now we gotta do a pin. Haven't had a pin in a while. No. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I am here. Does anyone want some ice cream? No. No, we can't be grub up in time. Nope, grub up the client. Uh, let's call the customer. Hello? Hi, um, I'm out front with the Uber order. Yeah, can you please leave it at the back door? Um, I, ha I need a PIN number. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, zero nine. So the back door. Zero nine. Okay, cool. All right, right, will do. Thank you so much. No problem. All right, have a great night. Thank you, have a good night. Ah, gotta love people who don't put directions. I was about to call you. I'm like, yeah. where the hell? I like looked away. I'm like, where yeah. the hell did he go? I mean, you would think that that um, come to the back door uh, would be something you'd want to put in your directions. Yeah. I don't know. Seems Maybe. like the lot. Seems like the logical if, if you, play. If that's where your door is. Yeah. One more for the quest. Can we get it in the next? Oh. Oh. Let's see. Let's it see. Didn't, it didn't swish. It didn't swish yet. Uh, it swished. There's a swish. I guess it was that bad. It's bad. $3.14 for 6.4 miles. Uh, even with the extra five, that's still... Uh, nope. Uh, Miller. It, it was Miller's Ale House. $3.14 for 6.4 miles. Where is it going? going to Brentwood. Ooh. There's a lot wrong with that order. Yeah. Oh, oh Grubhub. Grubhub. Come on. All right. Uh, Buffalo Wild Wings going to, going to Dick's Hills. $8.61, five... 5.8 miles. All right. $1.6 a mile. Also known as a dollar and 69 cents per mile. We have taken it. I said I said we'd go to Buffalo Wild Wings, Mary. You predicted. I predicted Buffalo Wild Wings. So this is interesting. So let's see. Buffalo Wild Wings usually slow. But we have to get there. They're saying this is going to take 13 minutes and it's going to be $39.94 per hour. 13 minutes, but it's going to take nine minutes from here, which is another five minutes. Yeah, that's definitely. Two Buffalo Wild Wings, so they totally underestimated. Yeah, they're underestimating this one for sure. They also don't know this Buffalo Wild Wings, it's never ready. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe it is. Ralph's! Ralph's, still, they still have a flavor. Wow! In January, that poor guy in there. <laughs> it's like I got one flavor to stare at the entire time. Everybody what keeps flavor? on showing up. Everybody keeps on showing up. Do you guys have this flavor? Nope. nope. <laughs> How about this one? Nope. Nope. <laughs> I only got this one flavor. Why don't they just eat it? Just eat it. We're done with it. Just eat it. Hi, uh, Selena A for Grubhub. Uh, just, yeah, this is going to be a few minutes. 
What was that? No problem. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks so much. Have a great night. I have a great. Wasn't terrible. Nah. Could have been worse. But not not actually gonna hit the what they said though. What Para said. No. No. Oh. Please leave the order by the side gate where the garage and trash, trash bins are. Ew. Just leave it, why do you, why do you leave it on the trash? <laughs> Didn't like somebody have us like leave it on their trash can yeah. or something once? Comment below, would you be like, put my food by the garbage can? Yeah. Gross. Raccoons can get it. Right. It smelled really good. We need to get another Uber. Let's go. I'm a Uber. And even if it just ends us, it's fine because at least we get the quest. Yeah. It's so like unsatisfying. Like when you have like when you're almost done with the quest and then it's yeah. like womp womp. But we got time here. It's a half hour. Yeah, but we gotta get an order. Oh. All right, come on, Uber. Come on, do it. Come on, Uber. Do it. Uber, do not order the climb. All right. Ralph's. Where's it going to? It's going to Amityville. All right. That's Wait. kind of towards home. Wait, this this Ralph's? <laughs> what? That's a good Wait. one to do. <laughs> what? Is it like Ra Deer like Park Avenue? Yeah. Right. Like like Ralph's? I mean, um, yeah, the one right behind. No, us. like Amityville, like close to us, Amityville. Because how is that? What, what's the mileage? <laughs> oh, so the order. Let's see. The order was what? <laughs> Wait, hold on, because I don't know where I have to turn around. Where would you like to go? Ralph's. How many miles? It's got to be like at least like 17,000. <laughs> Close. Um, it's 9.9 .9 miles. Oh, gosh. So the order is $10.62 plus the five for the quest. And it's 62 cent, 10.62. Possible hidden tip. Possible hidden. Although I think there's probably, I think there's probably a higher base pay because of it's the so mileage far. probably. Uh, but, we get, but we get the quest and bam, and we this go is to a great Ralph's. Way. We get to go to Ralph's in January. And we so end. That. And this is how we're going to end. Yeah. We're going to shoot right past our house, a couple towns away. Not the most ideal thing in the world. But we did it, Mary. We did it. Successful did shift. It. Ralph's in January. Ralph's they, they, they got the They got the one the one flavor that they have at Ralph's. Yeah, you got you to you gotta find out. Yeah, how many flavors they have left? I'm going to ask them. Uh, who is it? Yep, Rosie. I, I wanted to ask, so because so, I know like this is weird. Ralph's is open in January. How many flavors do you even have left? All the flavors left. Oh, you have a you actually have a lot of flavors left. Okay, because I know like Ralph's usually closes after you guys run out of flavors, but you guys clearly have all the flavors still. Have a good night. Thank you. And that would put an end to our Friday night shift. Before I get to the totals, one quick note about the Zing Wang Chinese kitchen order that we took earlier. The Power app showed that the order was $17.22 for that add-on that we got. But actually, Para had added the first order and the second order together to get that $17.22. So as you can see from the screenshot from Grubhub, one order was $7.21 and the other order was $10.01, making that total of $17.22. So something to keep in mind if you get an add-on and you're looking at it through Para. That being said, our math was correct for the shift, and we finished with a total of $105.24, beating our goal of $80. We ended up working a total of four hours, making our dollar per hour $26.31. We did end up driving 75 miles total, and our dollar per mile was $1.40 per mile. If you guys like this video, be sure to check out one of the two videos being suggested below. Also, check out our new channel, The Mary and Lou Vlogging Experience. First video to be posted next week. Until next time, I'm Lou, she's Mary, and we had a Long Island Dash experience. See ya.